I'm gonna try spending a hundred days on a boat to see if ocean content is just as bad as everybody says. So yeah, enjoy. So day one, I have to be fast. I'm only giving myself 10 days in total to be on land for gathering all the resources I need. However, the one thing I really want to find is the Pig King Village. And what do you know, we actually find it on day two. Yes. This is great since I can get materials from the pig houses as well as a bunch of pumpkins and grass. Day 3 I spent gathering tumbleweeds for easy toys and grass and I'm also hoping to find a gear for a fridge. But yeah, no gear. So I head back to the pig king to prototype all the structures I need and to clear my inventory so I can continue gathering resources and digging up some grapes when I found this really nice gift. Okay, that's not... So now with my life giving amulet, I set up my boat on day 4 and by day 5 we are off to the sea, meaning I still have 6 more days on land if I need them. But for now, I have to destroy the right button on my mouse to keep moving this boat. On day 6 I find this piece of wood that I have no idea what it was. As well as doxing granny. Oh that is far. And then gathering all the seaweed and driftwood I can find. Since I'm still missing a couple of things, I'm also trying to map out the edge of the mainland to see if I can find a clockwork for some gears. And I actually find one near the shore by grandma's house. There's a knight, there's a knight. And right between them, I find this tree. Dude, this is the best place for the base. Since I only have a couple of days to be on land and I still have plenty of food, I keep on rowing to see if I find anything else. But wait, I know some of you are probably wondering, why haven't I made a sail yet? Well, that's because when sailing near the Chunky Monkey Island, pirates will raid your boat, breaking your sail, and taking anything left on the ground. And since I still don't find it, I want to avoid that. Well, at least I tried, because the ocean had other plans. Oh no, what is that? <laughs> no, they took the silk! No! <laughs> And that wasn't even the worst part. <gasps> Full moon. No, Clummer. Clummer's all the way over here. Yeah, I'm not making it. Anyways, I know it's just monkey business, so I keep on exploring on day 13, trying to find some pick houses to hammer while picking all the kelp I can find to dry. But maybe I should have paid more attention to the time, because then this happened while I was looking at the map. such an idiot so yeah maybe ocean content isn't as easy as i thought however thanks to the life-giving amulet i found earlier i didn't have to make another world again i really did not want to use it that soon still not all is bad since it ways away from the kill zone was cuba i mean the moon island oh yes i knew it so since i can't take the time out to make dark swords or hand bats for a weapon glass cutters are my best option so on day 16 i put together go. the altar very go, go, slowly go, 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 go. oh crap this is gonna take forever and after getting glass and boards from the boat, I make an axe to commit woody main and make a couple of swords. Before night 17, we got what we needed, so I hop back on the boat and take off exploring again. Now cut to day 20, I'm finally out of pumpkins. So I rode back up to the clockwork from earlier. Here's... Yes! And then pick up all the food I can get as well as some charcoal to fill my fire pit. I'm up to five and a half days now, so on day 22, I take off to another part of the world to hammer some pig houses and it was right next to some bees, so I take advantage and get some stingers for boat patches. And after a quick hound fight, we are back on the boat in half a day. Well, I did forget something though. Ah, I didn't get silk. But it's all okay, because the fig tree nearby has some spider dents hanging from it, so I hit up a couple for oh, silk. Oh, you give silk? And after stalking Gram Gram, I decide to look for silk elsewhere because I just can't sit still. And plus, winter on a boat is pretty much the same as autumn. However, on 927, we meet a very dangerous duo that was looking for Nemo. Ow! But it's all okay because three days later, I find my favorite animal in ah, the ocean. Ah. Does that thing do a lot of damage? But I need it in my belly. I'm eating you for dinner. So after a long fight Ow. that finally broke my mouse, pick up that fucking... What are you doing? What the fuck is going on? I can't pick up shit. We get it for dinner. 
And on day 32, we find this very lucky set of boards. Okay, that's a lot of boards. Still, this was the first of multiple failed voyages because when spring starts, it's raining. I decide to head back to the base tree where after farming a couple of spiders, spiders, come here, like I should have 10 days ago. Yes, more silk, spider. I get all the silk I spent days looking for to make my sail. Yes. Oh, wait, we already have eight. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Yes. With this newfound power, I head down to the rocky biome next to the night from let's earlier go, to grab go, some nitrate go, and gold for go. winter, uh, which I end up not even using. Two. And we spent half a day there and another half a day gathering grass tufts, saplings, and this cool lure plant. Dude, that's OP as. And yeah, I forgot to get some wood because I didn't get any logs. Still, on day 44, we reenact D Day on the Moon Island and get some of the whips and some I more swords. Making go, it just go, on time go, for the go, 10 go, days. Go, go, we're so close. Oh my god, dude, look, that's exactly, that's exactly half a day. That's exactly half a day. That's, well, at least that's what I thought. Because counting it back now, I realized I still had two more days to be on land. But let's just pretend that 8 and 10 are the same thing. Anyways, I keep gathering more kelp and then headed back to the treehouse where I planted all the whips and had an argument with Weber's cousin. Shut up! Don't you talk to me like that. Who do you think you are? I start setting up the base with another boat and drying rack to clean up the main one and this is when I realized I had almost no grass. Is that all the grass we have? Please tell me that's not all the grass we have. However, I'm a bit busy setting up the lure plant. Look, free meat now, free meat. And having a dance battle with our friend the grass gator to look for more. Why is he dancing? Look, he's dancing. This is also when we start having problems with Wavy Jones. Wait, 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 wait. But after cleaning up the mess we had, we set up on a useless voyage number two to look for more grass. So this is all the grass we have. Ah, oh, that's bad. That is bad. Let's try to see if we can find some grass. And throughout the entire trip spanning multiple days, we find one single piece of grass. Still a good amount of kelp. So we head back to the base and find some more grass here than in the entire ocean. You'll start seeing a pattern here. I spent the next days drying up as much kelp as I can to keep it from spoiling and since I'm a raging boataholic, I make another one on day 59 because why not? Well, would you look at that? We have a little base now. Day 60, I pick up all the grass and twigs I can find around the trees and all the fireflies I can find to light up the base. Day 63, I get tired of these gators walking on my boat so I try fighting it. Why are you on my boat? Who, me? But yeah, that didn't work out too well. Ow, 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 I won't do it again. 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 I didn't make anything to protect against fires on the boat, so I have to stay under this tree all of summer. And on day 65, I finally bite the bullet and spend some of our bit of grass on making an ocean trawler. Yes! However, I put it in a terrible position because I didn't know that you couldn't pick them back up. Is it permanent? I hope not. I kind of wanted to take it over there to the to the other place. Still, I got my money's worth out of this it. Is... <laughs> and then on day 66, I finally caught my first fish. Needle nose squirt. Oh, look at the little fish. <laughs> By day 71, our second autumn has rolled around. Woo! Why not um? So I finally go back into to the open ocean to look for more grass again because I still have no idea how to get any. Captain, let's set sail for the Bahamas. And after picking every single kelp in the entire Gulf of Wessico, we find exactly one piece of grass again. Still, we do find Crab King, which I have no way of killing, so it's not all bad. Well, actually... <laughs> Oh, no. No! No! Get away! <laughs> me. Are you f***ing serious? Anyways, we stalked their island since I can't get off this fuck this beautiful boat. And this is what the map looks like for those that are wondering. Since our third voyage failed and I can't find any grass, my next goal is then to map out the entire edge of the ocean. Dude, this is huge. Holy shit. But after being harassed by these freaking sharks, 
I decide to just go home and make the best base possible. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Which, of course, includes making a fourth boat. <laughs> Never have enough boats. And then, yes, of course, a fifth boat. So what? Another boat? But you can't make an ocean mega base without a fancy hat. So I make one of two. Ah, uh, yes. Very classy. Very uh, sophisticated. As you all know, this is my capital. But wait! Remember how I spent all those days looking for grass? Well, on day 92, I finally discovered that by hitting a fig tree with your oh, boat, you can actually grass. make grass fall out of the tree. Oh, so if I hit the tree, the grass falls. So after fighting oh, for my shit. life against a horde of spiders, oh, I ran my boat into every single tree I could find. And after fighting off an even bigger horde of spiders, Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. You guys wanted it. And then another one. Again? Oh, come on. Ow. Ow, 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 And then after hosting a dance battle, why do you always get stuck there? Why? Why are you always stuck there? His friend just comes over. He's like, what the f are you doing? And we finally reached day 100. <sighs> well, guys, we did it. 100. But stop right there. I know what you're about to comment. Well, you didn't survive 100 days because you were on the land. Well, for that reason, I then survived another 10 days on top of that, like the awesome captain I am. Uh, let's just make another. 100 days. So and since Babatross wouldn't here. cooperate for an epic finale, are you serious? I just spawned and fought my own nightmares instead. Die, motherfucker. It's all or now or never. Bruh. Oh, hey, watch this other video to trigger a dentist.